everybody, how's it going? I'm the Tim Eister, and welcome back to Dunswell. We're jumping right into it in this episode, guys. We're going to be completely tearing up this stretch of highway and rebuilding it from the ground up. So in the last episode, I asked you guys, how should we go about rebuilding this highway? So first of all, the reason that we're rebuilding it in the first place is we were suffering from some major traffic issues because the roundabout that was here previously was the sole uh, point of entry and point of exit of the city. So it was just unable to keep up with the traffic and it was just going to get worse. So I decided that, you know, it was time already that we upgrade our highway infrastructure. And I asked you guys in the last episode, how should we go about doing that? How should we have gone with a tunnel or an elevated section or uh, the sunken section? And I'm happy to report that the winner uh, of last episode's poll, I actually I did a poll on my community tab if you guys didn't see, uh, the winner of that poll was the sunken section of highway. And I'm kind of happy that that one won because, uh, you know, I found that it was just going to look the coolest uh, just going right through downtown. An elevated section would have been cool too, but uh, sunken is, uh, is also quite unique. Um, so as you've seen me do right here, I replaced the traffic circle with a tunnel or, or the bridge that was once there before, I, uh, I replaced it with a tunnel. And the reason I did that was it's just going to make the transition from tunnel to sunken section easier. So with this, if I would have kept this a bridge, it would have made too much of a subtle transition from like, you know, go into a bridge and then go into a sunken section. And it would have made building an interchange with this avenue, with these crossing avenues here, uh, too challenging, in my opinion. It would have been just a little weird and messy. So I decided to just you know, go right into a tunnel under the river. The river was kind of shallow. It was a perfect candidate for such a tunnel. And, uh, you know, it, it makes for a nice transition from the tunnel to this, uh, you know, this sunken section of highway that's going to go through downtown. And then this here too, at, at this point, I wasn't really sure what I was doing um, as far as like how I was going to merge these two avenues together. You'll see how everything ends up later this episode. But, uh... Yeah, I, I think I created something pretty nice. And you're going to notice too that right now we're kind of in time lapse mode. Um, you know, I've basically just accelerated the footage of the game by three times as we go through the first 10 minutes or so of this episode. So only the first 10 minutes is going to be in time lapse mode, and then we're going to get into some live play. The reason I did this was, you know, this was kind of a long and tedious project and I wasn't really sure what I was doing at times, so I figured that it would be best if I just kind of, you know, accelerated the footage so you guys don't have to witness me just screwing around with different things. Um, and this is, so I know a lot of you are kind of new here since I started the Dunswell series, but this is actually the editing style that I do most often in my City Skylines videos, this kind of accelerated time-lapse mode. So uh, if you watch any of my other videos, you're going to see a lot of this style of editing. And uh, most of what you're going to see in Dunswell is live play. But, you know, like I said, just in this case, I'm going with the time lapse mode. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to finally have gotten this highway fixed up. And I really, really like how this ends up. Um, you'll see as I progress here, just how this whole thing is going to be set up. And... Um, I, I'm really excited to see how this is going to function too, if it's going to help at all with traffic. I'm pretty sure it will because we'll at least have multiple points of entry into the city, but it's going to uh, to greatly improve things, I think. And so I, I've gotten a lot of comments too on the last episode um, of you guys explaining different reasons why I should have gone with an elevated section or why you would like a sunken section. As you saw in the poll results, most people actually wanted a sunken section. Um, but a few of you actually mentioned that, you know, because this city is kind of Vancouver inspired, that I shouldn't have put a highway at all, you know? And that's a valid argument. You know, there was a huge anti-highway movement in Vancouver, like way back, I think it was like in the 60s and 70s, when it's like, you know, the highway craze was sort of happening in North America. Um, and yeah, that, that would have been kind of interesting too, is, is instead of placing down a highway, I would have just not ran a highway through downtown. Maybe I would have had a little stub that leads to downtown, 
But um, yeah, that that was a, an interesting argument that kind of made me think like that even that that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I I just ended up with the uh, the highway going through downtown. And, you know, the city, although it is Vancouver-inspired, um, I'd say it's probably more Pacific Northwest, uh, North America-inspired. So that includes Seattle, that, I guess, would include maybe Portland, uh, Oregon, and, you know, all that those kind of places. And when I was finished this stretch of highway, it kind of, re- it kind of reminded me of Seattle. Um, of course, Seattle has a highway leading right downtown, and it's one of the coolest stretches of highway that I think there is in the US. Uh, I think it's I-5, if I'm not mistaken, that leads right through downtown Seattle. And it's cool because there's there's a lot of greenery around the highway and the transition like right through downtown is just filled with tunnels and just, like it's quite a sight to see really. Um, so I guess I wasn't really intending on replicating that in Dunswell, but it just kind of ended up looking similar to that. Uh, so maybe we can do something, maybe we can like, maybe add some tunnels under some buildings and stuff in the near future. That might be kind of cool. Because in Seattle you have like a big convention center in downtown that, um, the highway just plows right under it. And, uh, that'd be kind of cool to see in Dunswell, something like that. But whatever, at least we have a working stretch of highway now, like, this is, this is gonna help the city a ton. And we'll see if there's any stress points in this highway, if there's any like, you know, clogging in certain interchanges, we can totally modify them. I I made an effort to leave a little bit of room on either side of the highway if ever we have to, you know, create an on-ramp or create any little tunnels or something that uh, that would lead elsewhere in downtown. And like I mentioned in the past, there's going to be some more big infrastructure projects just like this one. Uh, for example, like I was saying before, I, I want to redesign the interchange that this highway leads to. Uh, I don't really like the one that's there. And uh, yeah, I, I just want to create something that looks a little nicer and probably functions a little bit better too. But I unfortunately don't have that square unlocked yet, so we'll have to get to that in the future. Okay, and so here, I knew this was kind of gonna be a traffic bottleneck because there's just too many intersections in close proximity. So I decided to redesign this preemptively. And my thought process behind this is, if you're going east, so towards the industrial section, there's an off-ramp that's above ground that you'll see in just a second, uh, that you can take, and that's gonna take you towards the eastern parts of the city. If you wanna go west, so towards downtown, there's a second off-ramp that you can take that's completely underground and just plops up and just pops out of the ground like you're seeing on your screen right now. Uh, so this leads west, so towards downtown. And I really just wanted to kind of separate traffic as much as possible. I didn't want traffic to have to take that first exit and then do two lefts. And that would have just led to some congestion and stuff. So this little off-ramp is gonna help a ton because instead of just 
uh, like two stoplights or, or really multiple stoplights until you get to the same point. Uh, you really just pop out of the ground. You have one traffic light to wait towards. Um, and like the whole queue is underground. So if there's any lineups, uh, it's not gonna clog up the whole system. So that's gonna help a ton because I feel like a lot of this traffic is going to go towards downtown. So anyways, um, yeah, this is uh, the whole highway section. So like I said, I mean, this is gonna be a huge help. It's already functioning quite well. And uh, you know, we'll see how it's gonna hold up in the future. Cause you know, right now, the city isn't big enough to really test the capacity of this, but we'll see. Okay, well, let's get into the live play now. And what I'd like to do, um, well, we're kind of in a dire situation now. Uh, so our landfill usage is almost completely full and our garbage processing status is not good. Because um, these landfills were not set to empty. And uh, some of you guys in the comments pointed out uh, that this is a problem uh, because, well, of course, our landfills are pretty much full at this point and uh, they weren't being emptied. So uh, thanks for that suggestion, guys. So what I'm doing now is I set these to empty and uh, the garbage trucks are going to begin sending these to the processing plants and the recycling centers. But if I'm understanding this graph correctly, there's not enough processing power to really you know, deal with all of this garbage that's accumulated. So I'm going to place down, um, how much is these? And what I'm going to do is plop down another incineration plant. And of course, you know, I just plowed through over $100,000. So, you know, we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel in the bank now. Uh, but you can see just one processing plant has really lifted us almost out of the red here. Um, and I don't really feel like taking out another loan for this. So uh, I'm just going to wait a little bit. And once we can afford it, I'm going to place another incineration building. And then, uh, you know, we can better deal with our garbage. Um, and yeah, I'm probably going to have to come up with some sort of system here. Because traffic may become an issue with this recycling center and all these, uh, these incineration plants. But at least for now, you know, the situation isn't too dire that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have a real problem here. We still have a little bit of wiggle room. We're going to let this uh, process out and, uh, you know, just accumulate a little bit more money before continuing on with this. Uh, so for the rest of the episode, really, um, I think I'm just going to work on expansion a little bit and um, not going to get into any other projects. I wanted to build a little park over in this corner of the city, maybe a little city park and... Um, eventually I'm going to start to build, you know, our nice coastline park areas. Uh, but, you know, the reason that I'm not doing that now is we're just totally out of money. So let's just focus on expanding the city, getting some more residents in here and, you know, just, uh, just building up the city to generate some more revenue. And then, uh, we'll jump into some other stuff later. So let's do that. And this gives you guys a good appreciation of how big downtown is going to be. So, like, pretty much this entire section, really, is going to be downtown. Central Business District is most likely going to be kind of um, concentrated to this corner. And I'll go over what's going to happen, hopefully, maybe in the next episode, or if not, you know, in the next couple of episodes. Somewhere around here is going to be a massive terminus train station that's going to go out to the rest of the city. Um, I'm not going to do that yet because, well, of course, we're kind of low on money. Uh, but it's not really worth doing that now because I don't have um, this square. So we may have to wait for that. There, so we got some residential down. Oh, I see a couple of death icons. No, I think they disappeared. How are we doing for death care? Just out of curiosity. Crematorium availability. We don't have crematoriums yet. Cemetery usage only 10%, so I think we're okay. However, we still only have one cemetery for the entire city. Maybe I should place another one near downtown, just for good measure. And at least our hearses won't get overrun if there is a death wave. 
Um, where would be an appropriate place for this? I don't want a place that like smack dab in the middle of downtown. Um, I guess on this street corner. And we're still all good for water. Oh yeah, I think we are suffering from a death wave, guys. Here we go. Maybe not. There's only a few death icons, but usually once there's a few that start sprawling up like that, it's a, a good indication of a death wave. Another one over here. Uh, maybe not. A minor death wave, maybe, because this is, after all, one of the oldest parts of the city. Like right here, that's where it all started, so we'll just have to be careful with that. Commercial demand is rising. Take care of that. Okay, awesome. So we're back at about 30,000. I'm gonna go ahead and place down another garbage processing plant. Should I place it right? I feel like this is not a good setup. Maybe I should at least space these buildings out just to not create a huge traffic clog. Maybe I can place this processing building over here. And now look at that, we're just barely into the green. But now our landfill usage is gonna start to go way down. So, so perhaps if I do that, with a recycling center there. So for a little bit cheaper, um, I placed down a recycling center and that completely lifted us into the green. So disaster averted, we're all set to go for our industries. How is traffic doing over here? Not great, not terrible. Um, maybe I should start to play around with some one-way streets especially this section of road here, perhaps. Maybe I'll transform this into a one-way. No, it's not too bad yet. It's not bad enough yet. It may not get too bad either. Like there's no huge queue lines or anything like that. It's just, it's a busy road is what this is. And this, nothing's gonna change here. Like this section is already built up, so. Yeah, no, I'm gonna leave it like that. But, uh, okay, so we're doing good overall. Let's check the traffic status of this highway here. So, I mean, the highway's handling itself just well. Um, this main avenue, though, is quite busy. Um, but I mean, this is still like, this is still the main street in the city, right? I mean, anybody that's going to the industrial area or anything like that, I mean, they're kind of forced to take this road anyways. There's no there's no interchange to take traffic from here and uh, take it towards the, uh, the industrial area. And I don't really think that there's a need to. Maybe in the future I'll build something, but uh, for now, I think this is all right. Uh, okay, well, uh, what can we work on now? I mean, I still don't have a ton of money. I'd like to build up a nice capital before we get into any projects. I do want to get into a university. Um, right now we only have the trade school unlocked, but a trade school would be quite useful to have maybe near downtown somewhere. Um, but I mean, yeah, this is this is a really expensive project. Like every building is like 20,000, 30,000. So we really don't have enough money to do that yet. Um, one thing I really want to get into though is oil production. So perhaps the next square I can unlock. Oh man, I might have to get these two squares because I feel like you know this is about halfway. So that's really going to divide our oil sands in two. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Uh, but okay, well we have some agricultural land over here. Maybe I'm gonna take this square as the next one, and then we'll uh, we can do some agriculture. Uh, yeah, so 
at least we're doing good for money you know we're making almost 10,000 a week that's really good but holy crap our commercial demand is just pinned okay so after a couple of minutes of figuring out what I want to do let's get ourselves to 15,000 people to at least get to the next stage which is big city um, so we need 15,000 people to do that and we're at 12 and a half thousand I think we can make it before the end of this episode and then uh, we're gonna get a huge bonus out of that too and that's gonna allow us to maybe get into some uh, to some new projects um, so yeah let's uh, I'm gonna replace a lot of these low density houses which I don't really know why I placed down in the first place let's replace all that with some high density and let's start to get some bigger buildings in here near downtown more population oh my god what's happening over here oof okay I never noticed that but that's should be an easy fix there perfect yeah so let's get to 15,000 um, I mean we have pretty much already made our money back from the highway project that was uh, that's actually pretty quick and I think we can make it to 15,000 in no time look at all these high-rise buildings that are coming up eventually I might have to play around with um, time traffic lights here because this is this is a wonky interchange you know there's like I'd have to pair this light with this light you know just to make sure like all the traffic is flowing actually maybe I can't do that I don't know I, I'll have to check how like these sort of interchanges work in real life and uh, and make something with that and man commercial demand is just relentless it just won't come down at all but that's alright you know we can just replace some of this undeveloped um, residential land place down some commercial land some of these squares I don't want to touch because the train station may end up here and I just want to build a nice plaza right in front of this tall building here and our industrial demands getting up too I'm gonna save this though because I think so at 15,000 people the next square I'm going to go for, I think, is this one. I'm going to unlock this square, and then I may get into some um, agriculture, because that's going to boost the uh, our income, like, a lot. And I think that's what the city needs right now. It needs some specialized industries, because, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just won't be as pollutant as this, and it's just going to generate so much more income for the city. We can maybe start to play around with some factories and stuff, and... It's going to make our industrial zone cleaner, and it's going to make it look better, too, than, you know, just some general industries. So, 14,000 and uh, almost a quarter. You know, we're quickly rising in population. This is really good. I know I'm kind of being careful not to destroy all these low density houses, but eventually they're gonna go because this is all part of downtown. Oh, what the heck did I do there? Did I just remove a whole section of zoning? Oops. 14,000 and a half. We're almost there. And look at that, our buildings are leveling up too, so that's really good. Can't wait to get into the IT cluster. That's going to be really cool. Then we'll have like a proper skyline going here. All right, so almost there. Come on, a couple of houses. That's all we need. Boom, there we go. Big city. Oh, cool. So we unlocked the liberal arts college now. Uh, what else do we get? We got some new paths. We finally got a crematorium so we can begin emptying our um, cemeteries. And we got some train hubs. 
cool stuff. All right. So we also got a nice bonus with that. Look at that, $360,000 in the bank. This is the richest we've ever been. So this is really good news. This is perfect to get into some agricultural areas over here. So first, let's zoom out. Let's purchase this square for a measly $18,000. And look at that, we have a very nice square to play around with. And actually look at that, we got access to trains now. This is really good, okay, so perhaps next episode, if building this agricultural zone doesn't take up the whole episode, what I'd like to do is bring this rail over here and then, you know, we can maybe have some sort of train hub system and have a port. Did I unlock the port yet? I think I did. Oh no, maybe not. Okay, we need 30,000 people for any of that, so maybe we'll hold off on the port for now, but we can at least get the rail into the downtown area and have a simple you know freight train station or something just to help out with uh, maybe some of the traffic this is actually still handling itself quite well but this is gonna be the problem off-ramp here don't know if we can do anything to fix that if uh, if a train will help at all because I don't see any trucks in here um, but anyways, yeah, um, okay, so we made it to uh, to the big city status. Awesome. We're doing great. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, like I said, next episode, we'll get into some agricultural areas and uh, continue the expansion of Dunswell. So as usual, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for all the updates that are going to come out of uh, this series and all the other series, too. So until the next episode, take care everyone.